Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain uniform quantization with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I'll discuss about basics of uniform quantization. After that, I'll explain two different categories of uniform quantization. One is mid trade quantization and second is mid riser quantization. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of uniform quantization. See in uniform quantization, step size will be uniform or one can say step size is fixed, right? So in uniform quantization, we keep step size to be uniform or one can say we have fixed step size throughout the full swing of the sample signal. There are basically two categories of uniform quantization. One is mid trade quantization and second is mid riser quantization. So first of all, let me explain first category that is mid trade quantization. That I'll explain you with respect to characteristics where horizontally I'll consider quantizer input and vertically I'll consider quantizer output. So you can observe here in characteristics Horizontally, we have quantizer input and vertically, we have quantizer output. See, here we have step size that is S, right? If you observe the characteristics of mid trade quantization, then here in between minus S by 2 to plus S by 2, quantizer output is 0. As quantizer output is 0 in between minus s by 2 to plus s by 2. Name of this quantization is mid trade. Means at middle, at 0, our output is 0, right, in between minus s by 2 to plus s by 2. That's why name is mid trade. One more thing that you need to understand over here. See output decision that we take with respect to input. So here quantizer input thresholds that is there at plus or minus s by 2, plus or minus 3s by 2, plus or minus 5s by 2 and so on, right. So in mid trade quantization, decision threshold is at plus or minus s by 2, plus or minus 3s by 2, plus or minus 5s by 2 and so on of the input signal. Here S is step size, which is uniform throughout the entire range, right? And name of this quantization is mid trade. Why the reason is at input plus or minus S by 2, our output is 0. You can observe in this characteristics. Hence, name of this quantization is mid trade quantization. Now, I'll explain you quantization error. First of all, one should know what is quantization error. See, it is a difference in between quantized signal and input signal, right? So quantization error, that is a difference in between quantizer output and quantizer input. Here we have plotted quantizer output and quantizer input that will be increasing linearly over here. Let me plot it by one line. See by this red line, we have quantizer input. So difference in between these two line, that is quantization error. If you carefully observe at center, both values are same, input and output. Means at zero input, output is zero, means quantization error is also zero at zero input, right? So here you can observe the characteristics of quantization error. At center, quantization error is zero. If you go in this direction by S by 2 magnitude, then quantization error will increase. That is a difference in between these two lines. At this instant, at S by 2, it will be S by 2. If you increase input to more than S by 2, then our output will become S. So now quantization error will go to minus S by 2 over here. And then if you further increase input, Again, it will become 0 over here and after that, if you further increase input, 
it will go up to plus s by 2 up to this right and same thing that happens in this direction in short difference in between this two line that is quantization error that is a difference in between quantizer input and quantizer output here one thing that you need to note down see maximum quantization error that is plus or minus s by 2 right and one more thing that you need to note down see in mid trade quantization at zero input our quantization error is also zero right so there are two three points that you should keep in your mind in mid trade quantization decision threshold that we take it at plus or minus s by 2 plus or minus 3s by 2 plus or minus 5s by 2 and so on at input plus or minus s by 2 our output is zero that's why name is mid trade maximum quantization error is plus or minus s by 2 that you can observe over here and at zero input quantization error is zero right now let me explain second category that is mid riser quantization here also i'll explain you characteristics with respect to input and output horizontally we have quantizer input vertically we have quantizer output here you can observe we will be taking decision threshold at plus or minus s plus or minus 2s plus or minus 3s right if you observe the characteristics of mid riser then if you have input which is zero at the time our output is not zero it is plus or minus s by 2 means if input is slightly greater than zero then output will be s by 2 if input is slightly less than zero then output will be minus s by 2 so at mid here output is rising that's why name is mid riser right so let me discuss about few essential points of mid riser see here decision threshold that we always take with respect to quantizer input that is there at plus or minus s plus or minus 2s plus or minus 3s and here we have s that is step size which is uniform throughout the entire range if you have input 0 then here output can be plus or minus s by 2 means here output is rising at 0 right if output is s by 2 in that case you can say here quantizer input that will be slightly greater than 0 if your output is minus s by 2 then you can say our quantizer input will be slightly less than 0 so here at mid quantizer signal that is rising that's why name is mid riser right now i'll discuss about quantization error see quantization error that is a difference in between input and output so here output is plotted and input will be linear line you can observe passing through center difference in between these two line that will be quantization error so if you talk about center then at center at zero input there can be error as per positive s by 2 or negative s by 2 you can observe right and as you go in this direction quantization error will decrease and then if you further go in this direction it will become minus s by 2 and it will vary in between plus or minus s by 2 right so in mid riser quantization at zero input quantization error is plus or minus s by 2 so here i have noted few essential points that you should keep in your mind the reason is based on these four different points there can be question in competitive examination and one should know these characteristics basically maximum quantization error in uniform quantization will be delta by 2 sometimes we used to prefer that notation as delta right but here i have considered that as s so one should know s is step size over here so in uniform quantization maximum error will be plus or minus s by 2 in mid rise quantization at mid point our output is rising so it will be plus or minus s by 2 at input 0 right and in mid trade if input is there in between plus or minus s by 2 in that case our output is 0 so that is how differences are there in between these two categories of uniform quantization still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video